You're watching Greater Brockton, Mark Lindy, your host, and today I have with me a new face for Greater Brockton. I have Christopher Connolly. Welcome, Christopher. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. Thanks for coming. Um, now, Christopher, I, we were talking off camera. You are a history teacher in yeah. the Brockton schools, but during the summer, you morph into something else. What's your role during the summer? I run the Mayor's Parks, Summer Parks program. Okay, and Summer Parks program is something that I grew up with as a kid that disappeared for years and was just recently brought back. By yeah, la la last year was the first year I was back. Mm -hmm. um, last year was at Five Parks, it's at Five Parks this year, um, but we switched Ash Street to Hancock. So we have Hancock, North Junior High, Gilmore, uh, O'Donnell's, and James Edgar's. Wow, and James Edgar is quite the park because it's all been totally renovated and redone. Um, in the last couple of years. There's all sorts of new stuff over there. I used to live in that neighborhood, too. I grew up at Ash Street Park. That was okay. the Bent Playground, if you the really know the, the, name, the deal. Yeah. And that one needs some, some TLC. So yeah. hopefully we'll find a nice community group. We'll get a nice grant for the city to, to redo that. So what is the parks program? What, what, what happens? What were the ages, the times, the parents? We have, we have about nine minutes. We can go through it. Okay, so it's for ages 9 through 13. Um, it starts July 6th through August 19th, so it's every Monday through Thursday, mm -hmm. and it's 9 to 1. So in the morning, they'll get breakfast, which is new this year. Mm -hmm. um, they'll also get lunch provided for them. Um, twice a week, they'll be going to the pool at Brockton High to go swimming. Mm -hmm. um, when they're not swimming, there's arts and crafts, there's sports games for them. Uh, we have Andrea the Storyteller from Stories in the Streets by CFCE in Brockton. Mm -hmm. She comes, she reads to them, she gives them books. Uh, we have nutritionists this year coming. We mm -hmm. have Stonehill College um, Farm coming and talking about nutrition and playing different games with them. Wow. So they're, they're pretty active and it's, it's free for any Brockton resident. Well, there's, there you go. There's the big word. Free. <laughs> free is good. Um, is it rain or shine? It's no. It's, if it's rains, we we call it off. Okay, because you got to protect you know safety. There's no enclosures, anything yeah. like that. So nine through thirteen. So help me out with the ages here. I'm a little bit rusty. What when you're nine, you're in what third grade? Yeah, it could be third, third to fourth grade. Third to fourth yeah. to about eighth grade, entering mm. eighth grade. Okay, it's the ages right before they can enter into Brockton After Dark. Okay, right, which is the other program that's done. At night, yeah, or after dark. It starts out, it's light, and then it then it turns dark. Um, how many people? Um, how many staff do you have, and and where where, this, where are the staff from? Uh, t we have about twenty five staff members, so about five at each place, and they're provided by Baywib okay. um, in Brockton. Um, some are college students, some are late year in high school, um, but Baywib provides all of our staff for us. Oh, that's great. And, and that's like the summer jobs program that they have. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So it's all Brockton youth. Um, are there other teachers like yourself that are involved in the running of it, or are you the, the man in charge? There's me, and there's a couple of interns this year um, from, um, uh, from the health services department, and then um, Perry Jacobs, who runs the K-8 through phys ed, has been very helpful to okay. me. Yeah, uh, Perry. Perry's done a lot of different things. She was a gym teacher. She was an assistant principal. She, I knew her when she worked in the mayor's office for cultural affairs. So she's pretty well-rounded and, and yeah. has a lot of different experience. So, uh, um, what was the response last year? I'm sure it was great. I'm sure you had all the any any idea or numbers of kids or served or yeah. Beginning of the summer, we had about 30 people mm -hmm. in the five parks. Um, by the end of the summer, we had over 300 people come through wow. the program. Wow, so you expect to know what do people have to do to sign up? How do they, is it website, is it, do you go someplace for a form? How does that all work? Uh, they could, they can go to the mayor's office to sign up. They mm -hmm. can go on the mayor's website to sign up. Or on July 6th, there'll be forms and they can just go that day, fill them out and oh. sign it up right, with, right on the spot. With parental permission. Permi yeah, parents Kids will have to go. Kids can't sign up. No. You know, um, the parents have to go and fill them up. And uh, so the transportation to get the kids to and from the playground, that's up to the, the families? The families provide the transportation to and from the playground. Uh, we have school buses that bring them to the pools and back. Mm -hmm. Well, the pool's a great, uh, great plus because the pool up at the high school is beautiful. It was already done um, less than 10 years ago, I think. Yeah, it has the splash pad up there and like the little pool so people aren't comfortable swimming, they can still get wet and get out of the sun. 
So how'd you come to do this? You, I mean, you teach all year during the school year. Mm -hmm. um, you like what you do. You teach eighth grade, you told me. Eighth grade history. Um, yeah. And these are a little, little younger. A little younger. Eighth yeah. grade. Um, do you like it? Yeah, it's, it's definitely fun. It's, it's something new. Um, last year, I was you know, getting used to it, but it was, it was different every day, and it was definitely interesting. I met a lot of good people and had a lot of fun in the summer. So what's your favorite part? My favorite part. Favorite part. Yeah, what's your favorite part? Um, I don't mean to put you on the spot or anything. I'm just, you, you look very enthusiastic about it. I, I like it when I go to the parks and I see like the counselors playing with the kids and I just see all these kids having fun that, you know, might not have been able to do anything during the summer if they weren't at this park, and sit, at the program. Sit home and play video games or, or chat to their friends right next to them with a, with a cell phone and, and that's not physical activity that's not healthy, none of that. Yeah, no, I mean, you said you went to it when I, you were a kid. Mm -hmm. I went to it when, when I was growing up, um, and I'm glad it's back. I'm glad it's something that they can do. They can walk down the neighborhood if they have a note from their parents or drive, ride their bikes, mm -hmm. and it's just something, get them out of the house, get them off the video games, plenty of time for video games. Okay, let's run over the parks again. So it's okay. Hancock Park. Hancock Park, that's yeah. our new one. We have North Junior High. Okay. Gilmore. Mm -hmm. James Edgars mm -hmm. and John O'Donnell's on Center Street. Center Street, okay, and that's the one near next to East. No, Is it East. It's or kind of near East. It's kind of diagonal across from uh, Pluff and this, right across from Snow Park. Okay, I know. That. Center and Lyman, I there believe, is the common. Okay, so basically, the whole idea is it's geographically represented around the city. Go if, if generally go to your neighborhood yep. playground if you can. Yeah, your okay. neighborhood park. And I know Mayor Carpenter and the Parks Commission are really committed to, you know, fixing up, upgrading the parks. They've been doing work in the last couple of years with parks that I never knew existed, quite honestly. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the the, um, the improvements they made, not only in the parks, the golf course and all that has been really good the last few years. Okay, so sign up either in the mayor's office, the city website, right? The city website. The city of Brockton website, and there's a, probably a tab on there for yeah. it. Uh, parental permission form, and then or the day of the day of they can they can come in with a parent and the parent can fill out the form and they can start that day. Okay, and last but not least, uh, I think we got a minute left. If you want to talk to the viewers directly and tell them why they should sign up, um, you should sign up for this program because it's fun, it's active. There's arts and crafts, there's books, there's literacy program. There's sports, there's activities, and it's a whole lot of fun. And swimming, too. Perfect. Thank you. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for being on. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Okay. You're watching Greater Brockton. Mark Lindy, your host. Stay tuned for more events, places, people, and faces right here in the City of Champions.